Hey you guys, does anybody want a brand new pair of Nikes? Yeah, a pair with the Betsy Ross 1776 flag on the back? Well guess what? You can't have them. Colin Kaepernick decided they were bad. He said no, and Nike listened. That's the latest stupid thing that's happened is what we're talking about on today's video. This is the Loftus Party. My name's Michael. Thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, click like, click subscribe, hit the little bell and you won't miss nothing. We like to talk about stupid things that happen and boy, this is a doozy. I don't know where to start. Okay. Nike came out with this patriotic shoe, pretty sweet, had the old school American flag on it, the colonial one, right? The original one, like back, that's like day one flag. And uh, they put a picture of it online and everything was cool until Colin Kaepernick saw it. Colin Kaepernick, he's like on his phone one night and he sees this and he's like, whoa, stop the presses. Nike's about to make a huge mistake. So he calls him up and says, don't make the shoe, don't make the shoe. And Nike's like, why, why? We thought it was cool. No, you guys. That has connotations of slavery. And Nike's like, wow, holy crap, I had no idea. All right, don't worry, we'll stop it. They listen, they listen. Okay, this flag has nothing to do with slavery. It has like nothing. You know why there's 13 stars? Because there was 13 colonies and they're all in a circle. They've become one because the 13 colonies were all gonna team up together to, to, to defeat England. It was about England and the colonies. That's that war. That flag is about that war. Now, now, Colin Kaepernick, if, you, if, you're, if you're thinking about a war about slavery, you're thinking about the Civil War. That is completely different. A lot of Americans died, like a, a bunch of Americans died uh, to make sure that we ended slavery, right? So completely different war. So you see, but Colin's gonna stick to his guns and he's like, but it has, it has connotations of slavery because slavery was around that time. That's a, that's a big logic leap. Okay, I, I, I would I would give it to you if that was like the official slavery flag, but it's not. You had to take a logical, you had to take one step to get it to slavery, like that, like that six degrees of Kevin Bacon, that game. So, so if you're allowed to take one logic leap to get to slavery, then everything is slavery. Literally, I can do it with anything. I can freezers, free slaves didn't have freezers. Why not? Why weren't slaves allowed to have freezers? That's That freezer is a symbol of oppression and slavery. Boom, see, there, I did it, it's easy. Pens, a pen. Slaves weren't allowed to read and write. Boom, that's uh, a symbol of slavery. Guacamole. You know who would have loved guacamole? Slaves, but they weren't allowed, yeah. That's a symbol of slavery. We can play this game all day long. This is what I don't like about uh, progressive politics. This is what I don't like about the progressive movement. It, it starts one place and then it just keeps going. Colin Kaepernick, if you'll remember, he took a knee and he wore those uh, crazy uh, pigs or cops and cops or pigs socks. He took that knee because he's like, I'm all about ending police brutality. That's what he wanted to do. But now he's moved on uh, to be concerned about slavery. Which, see, they, they, you've just moved on. You just keep moving the goalpost. And Colin, I would say, if you are um, concerned about slavery, how about you stop being concerned about the slavery that ended, oh, 200 years ago and become a little bit more concerned with the slavery that's going on today? Google that. Google slavery 2019. It's like 45 million people are still in slavery. So while you're sitting around on your phone going, hey, that flag, Nike, watch it. That might be, uh, you know, connotations of slavery. How about you fight the actual slavery that is going on this afternoon? This afternoon, dude. It's crazy. He just wants to be important. He just wants to be important. He's like, okay, I'll be the voice of uh, police brutality. And then, ooh, and then I'll be the voice uh, of slavery too. I will be, and I'll stop Nike from making mistakes. I will be the grand high minister of culture. I think that's what he wants. This is what the progressive, this is what they always want to do. That like, ooh, when I'm in charge, it'll be cool. When I'm in charge of culture, it'll be fine. And you can have your little minister of culture and it'll be Colin Kaepernick and you can decide what kind of shirts we can wear and what kind of shoes we can wear. You know who did that legitimately? You know who, le yeah, the Soviet Union and China and communist countries. So if you want to be the minister of culture, Colin Kaepernick, here's a shoe for you. 
why don't you put these on and walk around? It's too stupid. You guys are the best. Have a great week. Uh, enjoy Independence Day. I love you, and I'll see you next time.